Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to add the high scores and the total coins to this start screen or main menu or whatever you want to call this. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the save game folder and to the save game and let's we want to add a new variable here. Let's add a variable and let's call it total coins and let's change the type to integer. Okay, let's compile, save and we can actually close this. Okay, now we want to go to the blueprints and to the HUD, to the game over screen. Let's open it. Also, let's go to the third person map. Let's open the main menu. Now, on the game over screen, we want to create a new function. So let's call it a graph. Let's create a new function. Let's call it set coins. Okay. And here, what we want to do, we want to get the save game ref. And we want to get the total coins. And we want to add to it. And we want to add the coins amount. Okay, now we want to get the save game ref again, or you can just get from here, but I will get it again so it looks cleaner. Now we want to set total coins, and we want to connect it here, like this. Now this value to the total coins. So we will get all total coins and add to the coins that we gained on the level, and we will set it to the new total coins value. After that, we want to get from the save game ref and we want to save game to slot. And now we want to set the slot name, which will be save game or whatever we have set here on the check high score if exist. Save game. Actually, here. Save game with the capital, capital S. Like that. Now we can compile and save. After that, we want to go back to the check high score if exist. And here, after the set high score on both of these, on the true and false, after that, those we want to set coins. Okay. Let's compile and save. Now what we want to do is we want to go to the main menu and to the graph and we want to create a new function to here. Let's call this load save data or something like that. And what we want to do here is we want to check if it does uh, save game exist. Uh, the slot name is save game again okay and then we want to get from the return value and we want to get a branch and here if it uh, doesn't exist so on the false we want to create save game object we want to select uh, save game endless and we want to promote it to a variable and well, let's call it Save game underscore ref. Okay. And from there, we want to, after that, we want to save game to slot. And we want to save it to the save game. We can actually copy it from here, paste it here. Okay. And from the, on the true, we want to load game from slot slot name is again the save game and then we want to cast to save game endless and from there we want to promote it to the save game reference variable don't create a new variable just promote it to the old one like this Okay, now let's compile and save. 
Now let's go to the designer and we want to create or add a new text. Let's move it to here. Uh, let's rename it to high score text. Okay, and let's change the text to high. Oh, high score. And actually, like this high score. Okay, and let's anchor it to the top middle part. Let's change the position X to 0 and position Y to 50. And now on the alignment X, let's put 1 to here. Okay, now let's duplicate this. Uh, let's call this high score amount amount like that okay and now let's change this value to let's set it to zero okay and now we want to anchor it it's, it is actually already anchored to the his uh, top middle part. Now we just want to set the position X to 10, and alignment X to 0, and position Y to 50. So it's there after the high score. Okay, now let's get the high score again. And let's duplicate it. Now let's call this one coins text. And let's change this text to coins and like this. Now let's set this position y to 100, x to 0, and Justification to the right. And actually, here also, let's ju set the justification to the right, like that. Okay. Coins and now let's duplicate this coins text. And let's actually where it is. Get from here and move it under the high score text. Okay. So coins text one. Let's change the its name to coins amount. Uh, let's set the way uh, text to zero, and let's make the justification to the left. Also, it should be yeah, it's left here. Now let's set the position x to ten, ten, uh, y to fifty. Uh, sorry, one hundred, and alignment to zero. So it's there. Okay, now what we want to do is let's go to Game Over screen, to the designer. Let's click from here. Let's select the color that we have set here. Let's, for example, get the bottom one. Copy. Okay. Main menu here. Color and opacity. Let's paste it to here. Enter. Okay. Now we have the exact, exactly the same color. The next thing, what we want to do, we want to click on the high score uh, text and we want to bind it to the save game ref and to the high score. And also on the coins, we want to bind it to the bind, save game ref and to the total coins. Now let's compile, let's save, let's play. Uh, first time, we actually don't have any values here, I don't know why, let's see if it works after we get some high score. Oh! Sorry, I'm so stupid. We actually have to go to the graph and to the yeah, to the event graph. And we want to let's actually delete this event tick, event pre-construct, and let's only leave this event construct. Now what we want to do here, we want to call this load a save data uh, function. Compile, save, and now it should work. Okay. Now it shows our old high score and coins amount. 
Okay. Oh, sorry. What did I do? So if if we play and we get even more coins, which we actually cannot get, or can we? I will actually uh, add some coins to the level quickly. Uh, interact those coins. Yeah, let's leave that there. Now let's play. And when we get the coin, one coin. Now we have to die. Okay. Now let's see what it says. Coins one. Let's restart. And coins one. So that's the total coins. So yeah, everything is actually working pretty nicely. Later on, we will make all this look a lot better. But for now, uh, we're just making everything work. So yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.